an RFID that will be implanted. I mean, I've read many, many futurists who say uh, the time of wealth will be simply wire transfers or credit transfers. But that is computer money. Everything is going through computer chips, through debit cards. You know, credit cards, first it was gold, then it was currency, Silver, yeah. right? Then, then, then it was credit cards, now it's debit cards, you know? Then it's, it's, it's just one thing leads to the next. What are the tools of the new world? Everybody should have a digital ID. Everybody should have a bank account. Everybody should have a smartphone. Okay. Then anything can be done. Everything else is built on that. We were talking about this yeah. before we came onto the panel. The three basic things. A smartphone, a bank account, and a digital ID. Yes. That's where every nation... Uh, in India, the, it's been named by the Prime Minister the Jam Trinity. Jandan, which is the bank account, Aadhaar, the ID, and mobile. Okay, I want to make a purchase, I want to transfer money, I want to buy a house. How is it going to work? We don't know. Will it be on your phone? Probably not. Will he have a plastic debit card? Probably not. No, remember Professor Richard Werner told us how this will work. At the moment, there's a bit of talk about this being phone-based apps. And yes, that is the initial phase. But what was already ready around 2015 is the ultimate goal, what they really want. Apparently, I was told by a central banker, is, you know, CBDCs looks like a small grain of rice that they want to put under your skin. This is the part of the beer. Hollywood crowds will do it. Politicians will do it. Elite families will do it. It will be a start of something. as it never has in any other generation in human history. So taking a look at this technology now, and you say you have the guy with his smart card here, but you want his fingerprint there, but all the information's in the smart card, and all the expense is in the machine to run the, read the finger. What if you took the machine out of that card and implanted it under the skin? In this age, where you can find out a machine can judge whether a finger is alive or not, you can just have it that the fish goes dead the minute it's removed from living tissue. The minute anybody tried to tamper it with it, it would be destroyed and it wouldn't work. You now have the scanner that can read the smart card. The same kind of technology that scanners can read the universal product codes on a product in your grocery store now could read that ish. So there's not an expensive technology. And the ish was the only important part in the card anyway, so you've just thrown away a piece of plastic. You now have the system that makes perfect logical sense with the technology that is there. Today we're going to talk about some general overview of what I'm learning about CBDC. And in particular, the Fed Now program, which is really the um, starting point for all this. It's frightening, folks. It's frightening. Um, let's remember the end game is Mark of the Beast. I think there's no question. 